Holographic neuride displays are an emerging technology, offering unprecedented capabilities for virtual and augmented reality systems. In a holographic neuride display, a laser emits coherent light that propagates to a spatial light modulator. Here, the phase of the field is delayed by the SLM, and interference creates the image that is seen by the user through the eyepiece. How to compute the SLM pattern is one of the core challenges of computer-generated holography. To optimize a phase pattern for a given target image, computer-generated holography algorithms use a model of the wave propagation in this display, such as the angular spectrum method. An iterative solver uses this model to simulate the forward image formation and backpropagate the error with respect to a target image using its gradients. Unfortunately, simulated wave propagation models are usually not a good representation of the physical optics. The model mismatch between simulation and physics results in poor image quality and comes from many factors, including the limited diffraction efficiency of the SLM, phase nonlinearities, and optical aberrations. We introduce a neural network parameterized model that can be automatically learned. Our model simulates the forward image formation by applying a convolutional neural network on the SLM phase to compute a corrected complex valued field on the SLM plane. This is propagated to the target plane using a conventional ASM model. Here, the field is corrected by another smaller CNN. This intuitive model can be applied in a 2D setting or in a multiplane 3D setting. In our hardware implementation, we use up to eight target planes that provide a near continuous depth representation for the human eye. Our model is trained by displaying a pre-computed pool of thousands of phase patterns on the SLM. We use a camera focused on different target planes to record the corresponding intensity images. Our model is then trained using standard machine learning solvers by adjusting the parameters of our CNNs to predict the recorded intensity pairs from the phase maps. As shown in our paper and supplement, our model provides a better prediction of the training data than other wave propagation models, and it also generalizes better to test data not seen during training. When supervised on multiple planes, our model predicts the physical optics well on planes that it wasn't trained on, indicating that it learns a physically correct model. A good wave propagation model should not only be able to predict the forward image formation well, but also approximate the gradients of the physical optics. We can optically record a small subset of the gradients with the physical setup using the finite differences method. For this purpose, we show a phase pattern with all zeros on the SLM and capture the corresponding intensity on the target plane. This is subtracted from another camera image recorded with only a small portion of the SLM phase set to pi. The resulting difference image shows the gradient of the physical system. Comparing this to the corresponding gradients of previous models reveals that these do not approximate the gradients of the physical optics well, whereas the gradients of our model are a more faithful representation of the physical system. When computing 2D holograms with our pre-trained model, we use stochastic gradient descent solvers to minimize the difference between the target image and the model output predicted for an SLM phase pattern. These are experimental results comparing the ASM model, the recently proposed hardware in the loop and neural holography models, and our proposed model. Qualitatively and quantitatively, our model works best and achieves high quality 2D holographic results. Here is an ablation study starting with the ASN model, which includes lots of speckle artifacts. Using a variant of our model with just one CNN improves this result. Using another variant with just one CNN improves it as well. Using both CNNs in our model achieves the best results. When computing 3D holograms, our model starts with a target RGBD image. The depth map is quantized into a set of layer masks that allow the target image to be layered across several 3D planes. These target layers are used to supervise the multiplane output of our 3D multiplane model to compute the SLM phase pattern. We now show a set of captured focal stacks of 3D example scenes and compare several CGH algorithms. Our implementation of the double phase amplitude coding approach usually suffers from low contrast. Using an SGD solver with the ASM model shows severe speckle artifacts. Our model used with SGD provides the best image quality for parts of the scene which are in focus. Our ADMM solver with additional phase regularization further improves the quality of these 3D results in out-of-focus regions. Here's a focal stack of the first frame of a video sequence.
The trends from the other 3D results are once again observed, with our model providing the best image quality. We also evaluated our model with an optical see-through AR display prototype. Again, our model works well and improves upon the image quality of other approaches.